Friday morning. I had to come up the garden quickly. It's a bit blowing out here. And um, whether I do, I'll probably, I'll probably wait till the weekend if it's nice to do the rest of those beds. Just come to check on all my little lettuce. They all seem to be doing great. All year round, even the lamb's lettuce has picked up. They were minute. What else have we got? Lola Rossa. You can start seeing the little bit of pink on those now. And that's all Lola Rossa. Maybe one casual tea in there. Not sure, we'll see. Yeah, the rest of the tongs aren't all the wind. I've just put a bit of slate in the bottom of there to see if that'll hold it down. A bit sheltered location here. All right, let's have a look. Tom Thumb, Northern Queen. Again, all looking great. And the red lettuce, the red salad bowl lettuce, fantastic. I'm thinking I'm moving them transplants out of this little one today. I thought it was quite sheltered though, obviously not. Last thing I want is for that to be blowing over. Let's have a look in here. Get in, get in. Yeah, I need to get down the allotment, get me wire shelves for these and then I'm going to bring the other lettuce into here. This has all got concrete slabs around the edge while it's flapping a bit. Flapping. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Even this is flapping like a... Yeah, no, they're coming off. Right, made it down the plot. <clears throat> too, too windy at home. Uh, there's little polytunnel greenhouses I haven't secured enough. So the last thing I want is all them lettuce and flower seedlings getting blown around. So for safety reasons, I've brought them down the allotment. They're going to go in the greenhouse part that's attached to the shed. <clears throat> I've got a few bits to pick up while I'm here too. But the sun's shining, but it's very windy. Yeah, all the little lettuce seedlings are going to come and live in here for a little bit. Oh, uh, that's what I was after. Those are the shelves for the poly at home. I'll end up forgetting something, I know I will. Oh, these have got little clasps that I've got to find as well. Let's sit on for now. Get rid of that for now. else what else could take a couple of these koi blocks home oh. there they are all coming down to the second home let's get them in the shed all right, let's have a look at the temperature in here. Two point one. It has been a bit milder of late. But these little babies. But now, gonna be in here, protected mainly from the wind. Not drafty. I think they'll be much happier in here. Um, what have I got to bring? Um, again, I have brought my peas. I'm just worried about the bloody mace. Mace, mice. No. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put that one over there. And they can live on 
I'm sure the mice can climb up the wood. I think they might have a bit more difficulty climbing up here. I'm gonna take them off the trays. Again, just with the thought that the mice might not be able to interfere too much. We shall see, we shall see. It's the weekend, so I'll be down. Keep an eye on these. Might need a little water before I go, actually. I'm going to bring them back over. Feels like the weekend already. I'm going to take them out of there. Look at this juggling. All these extra trays. Oh. Me. me now it's bored. Oh dear. Swing a cat not. Right, every trip back to the van. I'm gonna take this cardboard now for the beds at home when it's less windy back home. I was just waiting for Trisha to shout. I uh, just filled up my little watering can and I'm not sure if she's having a bath or a shower. But yeah, I didn't want to scold her, but I needed some cold water. So on my visit to the plot, I wasn't 100% happy, not knowing a lot, but um, that my onion sets I planted just some of the ones that were sticking up felt a bit washy. A little robin out there. So just as a cover protection, I'm going to sow some onion seeds. I think I only did red onions at the allotment, so I'm gonna do... What have I got? Let me show you. Red Baron. Bedfordshire Champion. I think all these were probably free from magazines because I didn't buy any onion because I knew I'd got the sets. And I'm going to plant some elephant meat while I'm here. So this is my little setup indoors. Just some staging. My Charles Dowding. Is it a 60 cent tray? Six, oh, three, six. 10, 20, 30, 40, 60. So I'm just by giving it a little water. It's still pretty windy out there. So yeah, I wasn't planning on doing onions. A few leeks up there. The garlic's doing really well. onions and that's just a little damping down a little toes Trisha had this donkey's years it was a letter opener that she's used to open locks with so now it's my little dibby dibby and a pencil so 60, so I'll probably do 20 of each. That's what I'll do. Oh, and I don't want to be doing too big a holes. Let's find me a little stand. <laughs> Just as you go to stick your pencil in. Just a little indentation. I have brought a new gadget, but I really want to do that outside for the first time. I don't want to make a mess. I do want it. Let's put, point you down a little bit more so you can see. I told you I was trying to get better at this. This 
compost is a mix um, and do you know what I can't think of the name it was one I think it's manufactured in Ireland and a mixture of that and some of the wick stuff because the onions seem not to be German and I had printed some spring onions they're coming up now on the window ledge in the bedroom but they're very slow and I know it's not just me I've heard of others having a few problems I keep picking out the odd let's have a look let's go with the red barrow seeds are in here 70 I always rip the bit off you need don't you 75 average I want these for cooking onions because I've already done the spring so I'm only going to put four to five I think Try not to be too precise, I can't help myself. Five. 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 Like some people say, it's so e easy to forget somebody distracts you which ones you've done and which ones you haven't pencil in five the majority of these come up I'll pull a few out just for little salad -y onions because I do want big ones I didn't think I was going to be enough then but there is one, two, three, four, five Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. That'll do. 10 lots of five. Let's get a label before we. And the date is Friday the 17th. Tea for plant, tea for transplant. That's the Red Baron.
Hello. What's going on here? I think those are sweet peas. I'm going up nice and straight. Cabbage, collie, the sorrel I bunched up and pricked out from there. So there's nothing else in there, I don't think. Giving it a chance to see if anything comes up. Those are the beetroot. They get a bit leggy upstairs on the sunny window ledge, so I brought them down here. That's a lobelia. I think next time I know to put those in little pots. Probably something like this, throw them in that, then I can pop them out and put them in hanging baskets. Uh, I think they're too... What are those? Are they echinacea bergamot? I think that might be a cosmos. Two stragglers here that have come up afterwards. But yes, let me give these a water. And leave them to get nice and warm and germinate. Right, first job, take my expensive glasses off. Second job, get things up the garden. No, I need to go. Well, they're taking the labels off. Peas. Yeah. And the peas. Actually, they probably started up indoors. Let me get down here. Look it from the earlies, first earlies. Not bad pie. Root grow. 350. Got some of that. Koya, Kara. Bought a ton of that pound land last year. Pound a block. Just to make with the compost to make it go further. I'll be doing that for my spuds. Charity shops, any of these little tries, as you saw. I'm going to try soil blocking. So. I did see the ones that go in like your Chinese takeaway containers, but um, two high sides for the air pruning. They need to have the air around them all the, all the way around, so any trays I can pick up, I will. It's cardboard. Plastic trays, free at the garden centre. Again, you think what am I going to use them for at that size? But I've worked out if I've got a marigold bedding plants, put two or three in there, you're good to go. Oat for no. Thermometer. I've got a digital one down the allotment, so I thought I'd bring that one home to go in the sh green out here. these pots. Put this back 
back end of last year. <clears throat> the stones in them from the allotment. I, um, oh, where are they from? One of the local garden centres just put stuff out, and I th I'm sure that's where these were for. Got the drainage holes at the bottom. Um, too small for potatoes, but I'm going to put. See all them dahlia bulbs we bought. Um, they're in the house at the minute in the plastic bags. I'm sure they'll be all right, but I just thought if I get some compost and put each one in one of these in the polytunnel, somewhere warm anyway, not too cold, they can start doing their thing. Shredded paper, which I get lots of. Um, I do office cleaning. So these are from the threading machines at work. They usually just get put in the blue bins and recycled. I'm gonna grate the compost. Great, great. Normally I'll take it down the allotment and use it down there, but I'm gonna start concentrating on the bins at home. Bins at home. Garden, garden sale, that blue polyopropylene, something like that. Um, rope, I don't know how much is on there. But, oh, a lot more than I got from Amazon. I bought some from Amazon, I think it was about nine quid for a little tiny roll. Spiders in there, but um, I sent that back, got that part of the haul. I think that's it from out the van. So yeah, I've done that bed over there. A bit more wood chip around the greenhouse. Finishing it off. Still haven't done that, but it takes longer than you think. It's time for a cuppa and a sit down and a sandwich. I'm trying to get the shed sorted out as well. Keep Trisha at it. A very good sunny Monday morning. I wasn't planning on doing this. We're going down the allotment in a bit, but I don't think I'm going to do too much down there today. We managed to resource a van full of cardboard. I put half of it down here. I've got another half down there to keep doing, but it's very windy again. It's a bit at a time. Go and get another bag of compost. And this is going to be all garden rows. I just thought... Let's get in this little polytunnel greenhouse. It's baking in here. I could have my bikini on. It's 92 in here today. With my glasses on. I'm going to leave the door open just to let a bit of air flow. But these dahlias, the cactus mix and the Bloody Mary are looking good. Coming on a treat. Lovely, lovely. And what's in here? These are the Trisha. I think it's a wild rocket. I'll have to, I'll have to research that a bit and get back to you on that. Um, very tiny little seedlings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight out of the lot I sowed. Those are the marigold, Durango red. They're doing very well. Oh. That's a bit of a limp stamp squid, that one. I'm going to move them. Maybe it's a bit too warm for them. The dahlia I put in here. It's the dahlia, I don't know if we managed to save that. Maybe not, maybe it got the frost when we were moving. This, whatever it is. It's growing nicely. A couple of other little things there, we don't know if they've been killed off. Um, those are the Cosmos and some more Marigold. Good, good, good. Let's leave that open. Oh, sweating in there. Get some fresh air on them. Hey, oh, look at that. Hair's all over. You've got to love it. Um, most I've seen down here today, most people I've seen down the allotment ever. 
Not that I've been here that long, eh? Um, I've got an installation to have a new um, electric meter at home tomorrow, so I can't. I, want, I wanted to get down here early. We've got a burn. I don't think she does it till the evening, but I've got some more wood that I can chuck over there. But Trisha's just rang me, she's ready to be picked up. Well, just a couple of hours down here today. The intention, to be honest, was to sit down here and just assess it and have a nice coffee. Didn't happen. Can't help tinkering. see more people down here doing bits now. Not very abandoned over the winter, except for the uh, regulars, I being one of them. Yeah, a lot more digging going on. So I put more cardboard down on where the celeriac was. I don't know whose that was, but it went all soft and rotten, so that got dug up last week. I didn't have to put cardboard down on that, but weeds are all coming up and stuff, so I did, I did. Let's get in this. You all right? What time are you having that tomorrow? Tomorrow. What time? Just stacking it today. Do you know what time? Oh, it won't be till about 11-ish. 11 11-ish, 11 yeah. We've got a bloke coming doing an electric meter tomorrow, so I can leave Trish there and I'll come down. I've just got a few more little bits of wood, but... Can't be arsed now. <laughs> Chuck it on the fire and bring some marshmallows, eh? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what I did mean to ask for my birthday, I got a Kelly kettle. Have you heard of those? No. But you burn it. It's only a little thing. It's this big, and you drop wood in it, and it boils your kettle, or it fries up some sausage or some bacon. Oh, really? And I was just going to ask you if I can use it down here. Yeah. I know it's not a great big fire, but I just thought it's a little fire of yeah, no, you're fine. some description. Yeah, no, All right. Yeah. My little treat that was yeah, bacon nice. sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no Cheers, Paula. See you later, Yarek. Bye. 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 I can use my Kelly kettle. Yeah. I did think there'd be a problem, but yes, always good to check. Me. Oh, don't ask. The van's full up. Two blueberries and ten root ball hedging. And we're just going to have a look around our local garden centre. Nursery. Simpsons. Home again. So our landlords have said no to us erecting a fence at the back and it's only about a three foot fence that's there now and it's dropping down um, and just for security because it's a field that anybody can go on and hop over our fence so we've just bought 10 of these root ball hedging Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My day off tomorrow, so I guess he's going to be digging the holes. Start around garden centre. Oh. That's me done for the day. just to finish this week's video off um had a few incidents back end of the week and one yesterday as you may be able to see had a bit of a incident with the uh, sack barra we went and bought seven more of the root ball cherry 
laurels and unloading them, putting them on the sack barra. Got a heavy one, bent down, put it on the base. The top bit came up and knocked me a bit senseless yesterday. And also I'll put a photo down here to show you what I did to my finger. Um, on the bedroom door, the handles are so high up on our internal doors that we don't tend to reach up to pull the handle to shut the door. We hold the doors here and I didn't get my finger out in time. Um, thought I'd broken it, but I think I just chipped it or something or hairline fracture, something. I got over that. And then what was the third one? I, at work again, didn't get my arm out. So I had an injury. <laughs> so it's been one of them weeks. So yes, fingers crossed, wrists crossed, forehead. Oh dear. Here's to a better week next week.